Uh, I'm Dave Coleman, I'm a vehicle development engineer at Mazda and I was sort of the lead uh, US spec guy for the MX-5. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, 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 there's a lot of focusing on really where are the pinch points uh, when you're trying to put a driver in the right driving position in a in a package this small. Um, you know, there's standard sort of SAE measurements for interior volume, uh, and the first thing we had to do is sort of ignore those because they're in sort of set fixed positions that aren't necessarily relevant. You have to look at how the driver actually fits in this car, and and where are we running into problems with bigger drivers in the car. Um, and we found like uh, it, I, it's very easy for me because I'm six foot two to recognize where the problems are. Um, you run, so your head starts running into the top. And on the NC, we had a, a, a bar. One of the bows at the top was right over a tall driver's head. A shorter driver would be forward of it, but we had it right over our head. And so we, we moved that so that when you do run into the top with your head, if you go over a bump or something, you don't hit something hard. That makes a huge difference. Um, we managed to get the seat a little bit thinner um, so that we could recline it one click more. When the tall driver is all the way at the back of the, of the, the adjustment on the slider, the seat's right up against the back bulkhead, so you have to sit kind of upright. And getting one more click of adjustment out of that seat by, by kind of redesigning the bulkhead and redesigning the seat so it's thinner, that click made such a difference for a guy my size. Um, and then when you're heel towing, uh, you know, you got your, your, your ball of your foot on the brake and you're rotating to, to blip the throttle with, with your heel, that rotates your knee into the steering wheel. Um, and in first generation cars, the parking brake was actually on the driver's side. So you, your knee would be pinched between the parking brake and the steering wheel. So we've got the parking brake on the other side now. We've done that since the NC. But we also tried to shrink the steering wheel a little bit more and let the tilt wheel move up a little bit higher. So guys who are really kind of have their knees folded in there and still need to rotate, their knee can have a little bit more room to stay out of the way of the steering wheel.